welcome back to Children of Mullah. My name is Joe Fury, and I am only recording this about an hour later. I actually had a lot of fun playing this again for like the first time in months. And it's such a such a different experience compared to Smash, compared to the Binding of Isaac. And compared to what I'm used to in a rogue play. So let us continue. If you don't mind me looking around the whole board, there's usually a whole story events. There's the koi pond. There's just a lot to look at and a lot to appreciate that the game does. But let's get into the main point gameplay loop. Halls of Anaidaya must be here, where she needs to be found. You can choose between two characters. As of right now, you can see some characters are blacked out, which is usually the sign of characters to come. John is a melee character, as seen from the last episode, while Linda is a ranger. I don't want to use the ranger, because I am more used to her. A celestial shard chipped directly from the ancient crystal in the sanctuary. It would be the Berkson's lifeline, a tether to pull them back home before death's fateful whisper. Alright, let's get into it. I'm a bit tense, because this is my first mission out. However, I'm sure I'll do just fine. Filling the winding tunnels of the silk-covered caves, the acrid taste of poison lingered in the air. Spiders. Linda told herself, it was only target practice. As she readied her bow, they must find the spirit deep within the caves. Charms are magical objects found in the land of Malta. Each one of those has a special effect and has a, has a special effect that can be activated by pressing the R. After they are consumed, after being activated, you can only carry they are consumed after being activated. You can only carry one charm with you before it's act or activating its effects. Now, you see, Linda is the archer. She goes by archer thing. However, unlike John, who has a shift to pull out a shield. She uses her stamina to move while shooting, which I think is really cool. It's something I never touched on with John because it was never needed. Ha! 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 
was the mechanic of dodge rolling. You see, John just doesn't have a dodge roll. Like, he does, but it, it's terrible. Linda is the first character where you have a substantial dodge roll and a substantial amount of dodge rolls. Streaks give gold. Gold can be used for things later found. It's recommended to get as much gold as possible and to break as many pots as possible to get as much gold as possible. Pots can also carry other things, but we'll see those later. This usually has something activate, but right now it doesn't. We can also see on the mini map there is a chest that I have skipped by. We don't have any stones in order to use it, so I don't mind skipping over it. Somewhere nearby, a group of the defenseless needed assistance. There's our first gemstone. mind the amount of movement I can do. I think it's a balanced amount. I'll probably need more. Those strained breaths. They got it out. Some locals were in danger. Come on, receiving a fatal blow revive it a lot. I guess we gotta revive. Oh god. I don't know if I have any healing pots. Map, please. I do not have any healing pots anywhere, so I'm gonna... I'm so glad I didn't stand still. <laughs> also, I should probably use my... Oh, I didn't kill you off? Okay. Good amount of... Run into the dungeon. Do, 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 
this kid is cute. Also, I think it's a good time to bring up the fact that my bow and arrow has pseudo piercing. See, if you lightly graze an opponent's hitbox, it will hit them and not consume the arrow. It's extremely useful to know. To allow you to target multiple enemies at once. Oh, I'm barely able to put this in my own play, so feel free to do it yourself. God, this game. So good. Also, another note, which I'm pretty sure you guys have already figured out, on me trying to kite enemies, that there's the tiny, I mean tiny AoE effect when using the bow. Once your arrow hits an enemy, it will decidedly more money. Let's go. Uh, it will explode. Usually, it doesn't do multiple strikes. of like the radius itself but it's useful for when you have like those big groups of enemies okay these guys are not that bad I'm actually gonna try and fight them actually you know what that AoE might just be me raising people without me noticing. This most definitely is just me raising people without me noticing. I always check these also. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything. I've seen everything. Gotten everything. I have found the finish room! Portal. Press and hold T to go back to here from anywhere on the floor. Energy flowed around the room. Before the hero, an object of the divine. <sighs> Love this song. Rate a totem that greatly buffs you. Down we go. Incredibly fast paced game, all things considered. Oh, my resources seem to be a little dry. That's our... That's our big gammy. Oh, chest. Nice. There's another one. Jeez. Ugh! Spider hit me. Thanks for the healing pot, that's very successful. The least 
flowers, very useful. enough EXP to level up, so I'm not going to. Or not EXP, but uh... I forgot. I forgot. My bad. Uh, I was on a time limit. That was some stupid damage. That was also super damage. I just ran straight away when I knew it had infinite range. Oh. Fuck it, me. Oh, that hit me. Okay, I didn't see it. There we go. Money. I'm probably not gonna win my first run of the day. Not run of the day, but uh, first run. And to be fair, you're not supposed to win your first run. The game says it's okay for you to lose in the beginning, so it's good to accept your failures instead of just throwing. Oh, oh there's supposed to be a thing over there. Not drop me one of them. That's fine. This? No! Relic slot machine! Reroll all divine graces. No, thank you. I actually like what I have. And I haven't been using it! Frick. Okay, that's another problem I have. I'm not using my active items. In like big fights. When I should be using my active items during big fights. Also, this game rewards accuracy, so knowing how much damage you do compared to... Love. Truly a divine emotion, especially during dark days. Love had motivated this mother to lay down her life for her cub. I will smite all of you! Also, we have a new name, God. That's the archer. While love now compelled the young one, to try and rouse her from eternal slumber. And it would be love welcoming the new orphan among the Bergsons. Oh, 
back, you asshole. There's a chest somewhere. Okay, it's this chest. Why is a gemstone? I do not have a gemstone, so... Will not be able to fully utilize it. The end game. Okay, so I'm not going to... Like, I'm kind of scared. And I will be going into all I can, exploring everywhere I can before I can, or I commit myself. Because that's just a thing to do in this game. You want to max your efficient effectiveness in every single floor. By any means necessary. Oh, I was hoping that arrow would land fast enough. Uh, get out of here. I do have an extra life, though. I should be fine. Oh, I was hoping they were move further. And I need to start moving. This? I'm gonna do. Not all in the caves were refugees. Some were just traveling merchants stuck in a bind. I'm not trying to get hit here. But I will get a good amount of, like, money from this. Due to the big amount of kill streak I could get. Slimy dudes, is 60? Ah, it's easily 60 gold. The strange looking shopkeep dusted off his clothes, tipped his hat. He invited them to stop oh, by his God. shop later. Promising something for all adventuring needs. I fucked that up real bad, but I tried. Now on, you'll appear in the dungeons, offering you goods for a price. Where's the amount of more of gain? Okay, yeah, no, I should have came here first. Ugh. I have yet to get a single gemstone. Well, that's fine. The amount of mauve I have is probably enough to get something, maybe. Also, there's no threat in shooting to see where things are. Never too late to start shooting. Or it's never too early to start shooting. There is a thing too late. But never too early. Oh boy. Can I get a gemstone, please, so I can trade it in? That'd be nice. That's in the 
fight. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm taking unnecessary damage here. A lot of unnecessary damage. But, I don't mind it. everything like you explored all of the depths so I don't mind using the teleport <sighs> okay all right health potion thank you health potion health potion health potion uh please I beg of you Okay. 35? That's fine. I can respect 35. All eight eyes studied the one so willing to walk into their own tomb. Boss fight. Let's go. Oh god. Yeah, I'm already down. Palamedes, get out of here, please! You're on fire, you're vulnerable. I should have kept the buff token. But I do not have the damage output to deal with this. The Bergson began to slip away, wondering if this was death was warmer than they expected. <sighs> yeah. They gasped for air as the celestial shard brought them back. A sensation no hero could become accustomed to. As she heard John and Linda describe their foray, thoughts rushed through Margaret's head. The corruption had amplified the creature's wickedness, and no longer were they part of the harmony of the Rhea. With the new threats looming, Margaret asked Ben to prepare his workshop. He would have to take charge of enhancing the warrior family's weapons and armor. Although in the safety of the Bergson's house, the young cub was not yet free from danger. Exhaustion racked the animal's body, its chest heaving for even the smallest of breaths. The family believed several plants found deep in the nearby caves combined together could serve to remedy the situation. Uncle Ben, can 
upgrade enhance the looks and Uncle Ben reached out to the familiar warmth of the forge. If they were to reach the top of Mount Morta, their equipment would need to be of the highest quality. Uncle Ben uses mobs to upgrade the entire family's weapons and armor, increasing their main attributes. These are the attributes. The attributes description can be found can be seen on the right panel. Or found, either way. Press space on an available attribute to upgrade it. This will take more max health. Also take more primary damage. A bit more speed. Only had a little more. I don't know how Grandma could stare at the books for hours. They don't even have any pictures. Oh, okay, okay. When light faded from the sky and most were fast asleep, Mary would write about her family, immortalizing them for future generations. Mother, except that I'm no longer a baby. I'm not even allowed to. Pra I'm not even allowed to practice weapons. She knew where it was coming from. Her ancestors had spoken of such corruption flooding down the mountain, but Grandma Margaret wanted to know what it was and what needed to be done to destroy it. First of all. Baby cub, I feel really bad for it. I must check everyone's gear. It must be pristine. I'm just taking one last look around before I. here. And I guess we're going to call it here. Thank you all so much for watching. I don't want to do more than one run of the of the burrow today because it's meant to be new and it's meant to be a big accomplishment for us to even delve so far into that. I hope you all have the greatest of days and that your day only gets better from here. My name is Jim Fury and I'll see you next time. He said.